In this video, we will be interpreting the remainder. There are three ways to interpret the remainder. First, you can choose to ignore the remainder. This means that you are not using the remainder in the answer at all. Second is to interpret the remainder as a fraction or decimal. This means that you are including the remainder in the answer and reporting it as a fraction or a decimal. Lastly, you can round the remainder up. This means that you are adding one more to the quotient or the answer so that everyone or everything will be included. The first choice is ignoring the remainder. Here is an example. Your mom gives you $20 to buy songs from iTunes. Each song costs 99 cents. How many songs can you buy? First we would do some division. 20 divided by 99 equals 20 remainder 20. So we need to decide what to do with that remainder. We can buy 20 songs, but we have that 20 cents left. We cannot buy another song for 20 cents because each song is 99 cents. So what would we do with that 20 cents? We would just ignore it. So this is an example of where you would ignore the remainder. A tip for ignoring the remainder. You're going to use ignore the remainder when you cannot easily divide the remainder and when rounding up doesn't make sense. So this wasn't an easily, this isn't easily divisible. So that's why it fits this rule. And also we couldn't round the remainder up. So in this circumstance, you're going to ignore the remainder. The next choice is to interpret the remainder as a fraction or a decimal. Here is an example. Four friends go out for ice cream. The total cost is $18 and they want to split it equally. How much should each person pay? So first we would take that $18 and divide it by four people and we would get an answer of four remainder two. What does that two mean? This means that each person paid $4 but there is still $2 that needs to be paid. So what are we going to do with that extra $2? If we want to split the bill equally, we're then going to have to split up that $2 between the four people. So $2 split into four groups is 50 cents. We have two quarters, two quarters, two quarters, two quarters. 50, a dollar, a dollar fifty, two dollars. So each person on top of the four dollars they're already paying is going to also pay 50 cents. So each person will pay $4.50. So what we've done is we reported the answer as a decimal because 4.50 is a decimal. Here's a tip for interpreting the remainder as a fraction or decimal. This is often going to be used with money, food, and measurement. You're going to interpret the remainder as a fraction or decimal when you can easily split the remainder and it makes sense to do so. So here we could easily split that $2 into four groups and it's going to make sense to do that because the four friends wanted to split the cost equally. The last option is to round the remainder up. Here is an example. A group of 200 students are going on a field trip and each bus can hold 60 students. How many buses are needed for the field trip? So first we're going to do 200 divided by 60 because we have 200 students and 60 can fit on each bus. This is going to give us an answer of 3 remainder 20, meaning that we've got 3 groups of 60 students, but we still have 20 students left. One bus holds 60, two buses will hold 120, and three buses hold 180. But there are still those 20 kids who need a seat on a bus. So we have to, in this case, round up the remainder to get our answer and our answer is going to be four buses. We cannot leave those 20 people without a bus or they would get left behind from the field trip. So a good tip for rounding the remainder up, you're gonna use rounding whenever you can't leave people, animals, or things out. In this case, we couldn't leave those 20 kids out. So we needed to round the remainder up. In the following five examples, we're going to decide if the situation calls for rounding up the remainder reporting the remainder as a fraction or decimal, or ignoring the remainder. 
Question one says, Molly needs two pieces of rope to set up her tent. She has one piece that is 11 feet long. How long will each piece be if she cuts the rope into two equal pieces? So 11 divided by two would be 5.5. So we are going to be reporting this as a fraction or decimal. And our hint here was measurement. Things that require measurements to be split up equally are going to be reporting it as a fraction or decimal. The next one is 23 Girl Scouts want to roast marshmallows. There are 50 marshmallows in a bag. How many marshmallows will each girl get? So 50 divided by 23 girls is going to equal 2 with a remainder of 4. So those four extra marshmallows, there's not enough for each girl to get another one. So we are going to go ahead and ignore the remainder. So this makes sense when we look at our tip. We cannot easily divide 50 divided by 23, and it wouldn't make sense to round this up. So we're going to go ahead and ignore it. Next, 23 Girl Scouts are going camping. Four girls can sleep in one tent. How many tents will they need? So 23 divided by 4 girls equals 5, remainder 3. That means we're using 5 tents, but there's still 3 girls that need a tent to sleep in. So in this case, we would need to round it up. Because, like our tip says, we can't leave anyone out. We can't leave those 3 girls out. They need a tent. Andy has 62 marbles. He would like to give equal numbers of marbles to each of the 8 other boys in his scout troop. How many marbles will each boy get? So 62 divided by 8 boys in his troop equals 7 remainder 6. So each boy is going to get 7 marbles, but then there's 6 left. Well, since we can't evenly give out the 6 marbles to the one person who won't get one, this is a case where we would need to ignore the remainder. I'm just going to leave those last six marbles alone. They will not be split up among the other people. Lastly, Maria is bringing pie to share with her Girl Scout troop. Each pie has six pieces. There are 23 Girl Scouts. How many pies should Maria bring so that everyone gets at least one piece? So if we take our 23 girls divided by a pie having six pieces, that's going to give us three remainder five. So we've used three pies, but there's still five people that don't have a piece. So because we don't want to leave out those five people, we're going to go ahead and round this remainder up. So we would need four, not three pies.